Hi Huns, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma. You are so, so welcome here. I am so excited for today's video. I've wanted to film this for ages. Last year in 2020, I did a recasting the Twilight movies and I wanted to do this ever since, recasting the Hunger Games if it was in 2021. You know what, I've been like playing around with it and I've been like, this isn't right, this isn't right. And then I was like, you know what? We can do this together. I'll come to you guys with my list and then in the comments we can talk about your like, Emma, what about da 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 da? And then we'll make the ultimate list. And also, Emma, none of this is real. Like, <laughs> literally none of this is real. I'm not even real. You're watching me through a screen right now. Like, I can see you. We can get straight into the video. I just want to say also though, if you're watching and you're not subscribed and you would like to, it would really mean the world to me or follow me on Instagram. I always have that link for you guys and it truly does support me more than you know. And if not, okay, let's get into this. So I feel like I kind of want to go backwards because I don't want to give you like Katniss, Pita, like straight away because I feel like I kind of have to set the scene with like the other cast. And also because I just think that's fun. <laughs> so I'm going to go backwards on my list here, but I am going to start with a biggie and that is President Snow. Scary. Scary as shit. Like, really scary. Those roses were, like, too much for me. Let's be real. I would love to see, if it was in 2021, and this is just, like, a made-up universe, a uh, female President Snow, because I think women can do scary in a totally different way that men can on screen. Men are scary in villain roles. I'm like, oh, shit. See, when there is a female villain, I'm like, oh, my god, I'm chilled to the bone. Dolores Umbridge in Harry Potter, I think is one of the like nastiest, scummiest, pure evil characters ever. And I'll tell you another one that obviously isn't fully evil, but definitely scared me was the mom from Crazy Rich Asians played by Michelle Yeoh. And I thought as President Snow, I could so see that. She would be so scary. Girls, if you thought she was scary at a party in Crazy Rich Asian when she was cornering Miss Thing on the staircase, imagine her leaving a little rose and you knew she'd been in your family home. I scary. It's scary. I think she would smash it. Next we have Sinna, who is originally played by Lenny Kravitz in the original franchise, which I honestly think is perfect casting. I'm not gonna lie. I love Sinna so, so much. Loved his character in the movies. Again, another little gender flip. Gender flip. flip the script. I thought if we're gonna re- if they have to be recast, I would actually cast Zoe Kravitz, his daughter. I think that would be amazing. I flipping love Zoe Kravitz like you don't even know. Every Everything she's in, I think she does so, so well. In, and she is like the most effortlessly cool person of all time ever. Now we're gonna go to my main bitch, Joanna. Now in the original series, Joanna really was that bitch. It's either Mockingjay part one or part two when she, when Joanna like escapes from the Capitol and Katniss sees her for the first time in the hospital bed and she looks like she's been through it and she's like head shaven. I think that is like one of the most haunting moments in the series for me because it's like so brief, but you can tell like there's so much depth to like everything that she went through while she was in captivity. Like it's so scary to me. In saying that, like so so many iconic scenes from her when she was getting completely naked and changed in the lift. I do just love her. Who do I think could do an amazing job at playing her if it was in 2021 and we had to pick a new actress? I would say Florence Pugh, especially after seeing her in the new Black Widow, which if you haven't seen yet, highly recommend. I thought it was really good and she honestly really stole the show. Couldn't you just see Miss Florence Pugh like standing up against President Snow with that, with Florence Pugh hitting the... You know what I mean? One thing I will say, Florence Pugh's acting in Black Widow, I think was highly, highly inspired by Jodie Comer's performance in Killing Eve when she played Villanelle. I mean, you know me, I am a bisexual little bitch and Killing Eve is like in my DNA. So let's just leave it. So I was like, where can Miss Jodie Comer fit into this franchise. I think she would actually be really good at playing Effie, who was originally played by Elizabeth Bank. She's always been camp. I've loved her costumes. It's amazing. Villanelle, again, very similar, like the huge extravagant costumes. And I could so see Jodie Comer playing that role. She may be a tad young because obviously she'd be kind of a similar age to Katniss, but we can make it work, right? I mean, hair and makeup is a thing, right? And then we have Cesar Flickman, who's originally played by Stanley Tucci, who also perfect casting, like genuinely, genuinely perfect casting. Stanley Tucci will never do wrong in my eyes, like in any movie he's ever been in, except The Lovely Bones, where he was like really doing real wrong there. But you know what I mean? If to do this, I would have to bring in someone like slightly different energy, but still like eccentric. And also I definitely still felt like a guy. <laughs> also, I will say if this actually happened in 2021, I 
know Mr. James Corden would be trying his best to get in this gig. Let's get love. But I would be saying, no, lock the doors. And I would cast Ken Jeong. <laughs> He's actually also in Crazy Rich Asians, but I think got like most famous from like the Hangover movies. So funny, so like over the top, but then also can sometimes be a little bit creepy and eerie. And someone I actually don't really feel like gets that many big parts in Hollywood, but I think is really cool. So that's what I would cast as Cesar Flickman. This next one I absolutely love. I've kind of stolen it from my friend because when we were comparing lists, this was actually his Katniss. So I'm gonna say this actress, I also could 110% see as Katniss, but because they're slightly younger, I was like, maybe they could play Prim instead. But it was a very close call and actually, I would very easily see this person as Katniss too, so I'll just say that. And this is Sophia Wiley, who plays Gina from High School Musical, the musical, the series on Disney+. Plus. She is amazing on that, like incredible. I honestly see her going like extremely far. In the industry, I see her taking on really serious roles. I think she'd be really good as Prim. My only critique is that she probably wouldn't get enough screen time and like she would also be amazing as Katniss. So let's call her Katniss understudy as well, but I had to absolutely include her in this list. Next up, we have Finnick, who is originally played by Sam Claflin in the original franchise, and he is so heartwarming. I think Caitlin from Caitlin Marie Reacts tweeted earlier in the week saying like, everyone protect Finnick or whatever, and I that really kind of inspired me to make this video again. I was like, so true, bestie. So I was like, who could honestly rival that performance? Maybe because I'm re-watching um, some of the Marvel films at the moment, I was like, who could be like the perfect, like pure also hero, but also like truly golden hearted, like through and through. And my immediate thought was Tom Holland, honestly. I think he could bring some of the elements that I've seen him in Spider-Man where he is like so wholesome and so heroic, but be like less goofy, I would say in this role, but I really think he could do it. He could totally sell to me that he had been like a nationwide hero his whole life, been through some stuff and would definitely carry Miss Grandma on his back all the time. M.A. <laughs> Okay, we're actually getting near the end here. I'm like having the time of my life. I really want to do this with like other movies too. Like I love to do with like similar vein with like the Divergent series, but what I would absolutely love to do would be like some of my childhood faves, like Mean Girls, The Devil Wears Prada, like that kind of vibe. So if that's something you would want to see, please let me know below. Now we're getting to Gail. Obviously originally played by Mr. Hemsworth himself. Sometimes, oh, okay. So sometimes I watch The Hunger Games and I'm like, oh my God, Gail. And then sometimes I watch The Hunger Games and I'm like, oh my God. God, Gail. It's just... You just gotta catch me in the right mood. But what do you think about Gail? Like if you're team PETA, team Gail, team like nobody at all for Katniss below because that is one thing that I'm never really like sure on. So I chose Harry Styles. <laughs> I love Harry Styles. I'm sure I cast him in my Twilight recasting as well. I think Harry Styles as an actor is super underrated. I can really see, I'm so excited to see everything he has coming out. I could just see him as Gail. Also, I just was like, let me just give him a little role. Let me just give him a little role, you know? Just Gail. It's just Gail. But now we're getting to Mr. Pita. Obviously originally played by Josh Hutch Hutchinson? Hutcherson? Josh Hutcherson is someone that I feel like I literally grew up with. When I was a kid, he was acting as a kid. And then now that we're grown up, like he's still around. And I thought he did an amazing job as Peta. Again, I didn't read the books though for The Hunger Games. I will say that. So I don't know the characters like as inside and out as I definitely do like with Twilight because I read all the books. Like I was obsessed. But I was so into The Hunger Games. Like I went to the midnight premieres, loved it. I just never got around to reading the books. So to me, Josh Hutcherson is the only Peta that I've ever known. But some Someone I think could do an amazing job is Paul Mescal. So if you don't know him, he was in Normal People, which came out in 2020. Kind of like shook up the internet a little bit. Like I feel like everyone was like, who is this guy? I think if he could pull off an American accent, which I have no idea if he can, he'd be an amazing PETA. I feel like his character in Normal People like didn't come from much, but was strong, fought when he had to, and was like very caring. And that to me is like quite quintessential to PETA. And Paul, I feel like is quite relevant right now. I'm pretty sure he's dating Phoebe Bridgers so I am waiting for the album. The one character in this that I honestly could not cast, and I think it's because I'm not that familiar with too many like child actors at the moment, is Rue. I had no idea. Obviously originally played by Amanda Steinberg and I have no idea who could play her. I would love to see your suggestions below. I'm open to anything, mamas. No idea who could play her. I really don't know any child actors anymore. Um, Maybe there aren't as many. Maybe that's like a side effect of the whole pandemic is that kids don't get to act as much from a young age. 
I might have just made that up. I don't know. And here we are at Miss Katniss. Obviously, originally iconically played by Jennifer Lawrence and someone that I thought if this was in 2021, who else could play that role? For me, I was like, it kind of seems obvious who they would pick to me. And that would be Zendaya, I think, especially with like all of the roles that she's taking on now. She's really proving herself as a very serious actress. And then Dune looks amazing. I've heard she's absolutely incredible in Dune. Kind of entering like that sci-fi action realm. I would just pay to see it. If I, if someone said to me, The Hunger Games is being re-released next week and Zendaya is playing Katniss, I'd be like, okay, where's the midnight premiere? Like, I would love that. I just think that'd be so good. But I don't know. Does anyone have someone else they think would be the amazing, like the perfect Katniss? Let me know in the comments below. This was all just like a bit of fun, but... I don't know, I love doing stuff like this. Just just me sitting here on a Sunday in my pajama bottoms being like, hmm, what can I do on my little notes app and post on my little YouTube for all my little besties? I just had a lot of fun with this and I hope you guys did too. I really, really appreciate you watching. So thank you so, so much. I hope you are happy. I hope you are safe and I hope your asses are getting fatter by the minute. Love you so much. See you in my next video. Bye, Huns.